Welcome back to Designs by Shy. So I know it's been a while. I might even want to waste your time with the excuses. Um, sis has been busy. Sis has been tired. But sis is back and sis is ready to go. So um, before we get into today's video, I just want to say if you have not already subscribed to my son's YouTube channel, could you please take what 10 20 seconds out of your time to go subscribe to his youtube channel my birthday gift to him is trying to get him to 1k subscribers by then which is november um so please help me with that i would greatly appreciate it it will be linked or the link will be in the description below as always and in today's video we're going to be doing something i know you've probably already seen it um but it's gonna be a little different for me so you know, the, the image that's going around is a photo of the cover album and then the track that's playing. But for me, I don't want to get any copyright claims or anything like that um, from YouTube for using that picture from Google. So we're going to do it a little bit different as you just seen in the little preview or whatever. So you will need printable vinyl or you can use sticker paper, you can use shipping labels. Yeah, you can use really whatever, anything that's sticky though. Um, but for me, I will be using, actually, I'm going to go ahead and use sticker paper for this. Um, so I'm going to use sticker paper and I'm going to use permanent vinyl. And then I got my glass from the Dollar Tree. It's actually 11 by 14 photo frame. Um, I'll show you more details into the video. But yeah, that's all you're going to need if I'm trying to think I'm missing anything. Dollar Tree picture frame, whatever size you prefer permanent vinyl and any type of sticker paper I believe that's it okay and the computer <laughs> um so yeah let's get right into the video you guys okay so the first thing you're gonna do for your Spotify is go to spotify.com this is how it looks from your computer screen you're gonna go to launch web player then once it loads you're gonna go to search and you're just gonna search up the song that you want the code for So here's the song right here that I want. So you're gonna click these three dots over here to the side. You're gonna go down to copy song link. It's copied to your clipboard. Now you're gonna go to spotifycodes.com. You're gonna see this screen. You're gonna exit off of this. Then you're gonna paste your link there and go to get Spotify code. Then over here to the side, you wanna change the background color to black. Or I'm sorry, so white and change the bar color to black. I'm gonna keep it, or no, we're gonna change it from a JPEG to a SVG. And then we're gonna go ahead and click download. So, what? Once it downloads, we're gonna click this. Okay, it's down here, I'm sorry. So we're gonna click download, we're gonna wait, we're gonna go to open file. You want to right click it well actually before you right click it you want to go ahead and scan this code to Spotify to make sure the correct song comes up then once you have that done then once you have that done you're gonna right click it you're gonna to go to save as and we're gonna save it as I choose you I already have it saved, so I'm just going to save it again. And then we can go ahead and exit off of that. Okay, for YouTube, you're going to go to YouTube. You're going to go to search the song that you want. I'm going to click on the song. I'm going to go down here to share. Then we're going to copy that link. Link is copied to clipboard. Now we're going to go up here. You're going to go to qrcodegenerator.com. I'm going to have all the links to these in the description below. We're going to right click it here and paste it. Then this will pop up. You're going to download it as a JPEG. Now it says it's being generated, so just wait. So it's coming, popping up down here. So open file. So 
So before you save this, you wanna go ahead and scan this with your phone. Just go to your camera and scan and uh, ho hover over this. You don't even have to take the picture, just gotta hover over this with the camera and then your, it should give you a pop-up for the YouTube. So once that's um, accurate, then you're gonna right click it and go to save as. I'm just going to save it as frame, but once again, I already have these saved, so I'm not going to save that twice. Then you can exit off of all this. Then I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to get the shuffle. I'm going to go to images. You're just going to find whichever image you want, click on it, make sure it has a solid white background so it's easier to clean up. I already have one saved so I'm not going to worry about this part too much. Um, repeat button. You're going to find which one you like, you're going to right click it and you're going to save as. But I already have these images so I'm not going to worry about it. So now I'm going to just exit out of my Internet Explorer. I'm gonna go to Cricut Design Space. So as you always know, I always say you always start on a blank canvas, but I already have done these projects. So I wanted to do this project and save it underneath the, um, that project. So this is as close to a blank canvas we're gonna get. So this is my template. And the only thing I did was go to shapes, click square, and then the square pop up, and then you unlock it up here. And then you type in the size of your picture frame. So mine is 11 by 14, so I just made my square 11 by 14 so now this is my template so now I can size everything to fit this square and I know it'll be accurate in real life so we're gonna go to upload and you're gonna go to your upload images and you're going to find everything that you want to insert so we're gonna find your picture you would get your frame you would get your song so we're just gonna do just one we'll do the SVG so I'm gonna go here and you're gonna click save and then it's gonna pop up and then we're gonna click everything that we want and we are going to insert it into our project So I know other videos, they say that they basically just screenshot the play and repeat and all that little, um, whatever you want to call that, a uh, little bar down there for the music. But I made my own, let me see. So I just created my own myself because for me it was easier this way than to uh, screenshot and clean it up and all of that. So. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a circle. Make it smaller. We're gonna actually duplicate the circle because we need two of them. We're gonna grab a triangle. If you already have this part, um, or if you just use the picture and cleaned it up, then this is a part you can skip. So we're gonna highlight the triangle and the circle. We're gonna slice it. And we're gonna keep one triangle for later on. And now we have a play button. Now we're gonna go to images. So we're gonna look up lines. Take these two and weld them together. Okay, so that is now this line here. Now I'm going to make this triangle a little smaller. I'm going to text. I'm going to go 
capitalized R, I mean I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put that near the triangle for the fast forward icon. Size it up how you like. Once you like it, highlight both, weld them together. Then you want to duplicate it and go up here for the flip, flip it the other way. Now we have those. And we have the repeat, the shuffle. So now I'm going to put in the name, so it's I Choose You, that is the name of the song, and I like the song name to be bold, and the font to be a little, I mean the letters to be a little closer to each other, and then the artist. Make that regular style. Oops. Oh, I almost forgot my heart. So what I do is, I have this welded together, that way I can just keep repeating this, or I'm sorry, keep using this um, for every project without having to recreate it. And then the only thing you gotta do is just add in your song name and artist. But what I do is I duplicate this and I hide the second copy, that way I can weld this together as well so it's just one it's an easier cut so now i'll go ahead and size it onto my template so for the picture i'm going to actually put the qr code on the picture so it doesn't take up more space than need be so i'm going to do it's going to put it right here in the corner i'm going to highlight the qr code in the picture and I'm going to go over here to flatten so it becomes one picture. And we'll put that back on a template. Now for the Spotify. So for the Spotify, I'm going to actually take out the, as you can see over here to the side, there's um, a ton of layers. So I'm going to take out the white background. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to see how it looks if I weld it together. Make sure we don't lose any lines or anything. We're gonna take that and then we're gonna add that on there. Now I'm actually going to change this color to white. Okay. We can get rid of this now. All right, so once you have it sized the way you want it, you like it and everything looks good to you, you can go ahead and get rid of your template. I would just hide it off to the side and then you're ready to go ahead and make your project. Oh, oh the picture may be too big. Let's see here.
And if you want the picture bigger than what Cricut Design Space will allow, then how I do, I always just take that picture and go to Silhouette Studios and print it off from there. But for this project, um, I'm okay with the size, so I'm not gonna get into all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Make It Now. And then you're gonna insert your sticker paper or whatever paper you're gonna use. And then you're gonna click Continue. Well, we wanna make sure everything looks good to you. And then you wanna go ahead and click Continue. Okay, so you're gonna click Send to Printer. Once you have your paper in, I am printing this off on my Epson WF7710. That printer doesn't matter though. Uh, I know I get a lot of questions about which printer should people buy and like I tell everybody, whatever you can afford, whatever inkjet printer you can afford, because I do prefer inkjet printers, then you can buy it. Okay, you wanna make sure your setting is set to light car stock for paper. I always cut all my paper on light car stock. I never cut it on paper. So this is the image printed off nicely. So now we're just going to line it up on your mat. And we're going to insert it. I'm going to pull my Cricut machine out because it is going to send the mat into the back or all the way through the machine so I don't want it to hit the wall. So now it's just reading the black border and the picture line to make sure it knows where to cut. So I also made this. Um, see if you can read that. But yeah, I also made this and I made this as well for my father who has passed away. So, um, stay tuned. I probably today actually I'm going to go ahead and make a video for these as well. It's basically the same thing I just did minus the music, of course. Um, but yeah, so be looking out for that video here soon. I'm going to drop that either later on today or after whenever you see this video or the following day. But I'm definitely going to try to make that video right after I get done with this because they are, that one at least, is fast to make so it doesn't take that much time at all. Alright, so it's done with cutting. So you're just going to take it off the mat. beautiful family beautiful picture and the QR code is on the picture like I wanted it so we're gonna put that off to the side now scoot this back now we're going to do the second mat which is white vinyl <laughs> cut out and we have the vinyl cut out and then we have our transfer paper and then our photo frame okay so we're just going to take the wrapper off really you can go ahead and do it like this first just so it's more um, easier to do it and everything and then you can take the backing out but it's all a preference up to you how you want to do it I'm gonna take the backing 
out. So for these, you can do it two options. You can either just grab it and wiggle it right out, or you can just fold them backwards so that they're out the way. So I'm just going to pull the backing off. Now we're going to flip it over. Okay, so on the back of the sticker paper, there's going to be some lines, and you're just going to fold out the lines. I'm going to do line by line, so I can make sure I get it as flat as possible. I'm going to lay it here. I'm going to make sure the sticky part is not touching the glass just yet. So 
once you feel you have it lined up perfectly you can go ahead and lay it down I'm always scared I'm not gonna have it lined up straight some sticky stuff on a table so I got on my picture frame so I have to clean my picture frame real quick but this is my finished look with just the glass okay so now this part is if they want the frame on their glass then we're going to take E6000, we're going to put some on the tip of a popsicle stick and then we're just going to rub it in the corners. And I'm doing it this way so it doesn't, um, so it's not too much and doesn't get on the glass where it's noticeable. So I find this way is best. <laughs> where the glue is but obviously not too much because it is glass and this is what it will look like in the frame and I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours before I check it. Um, that's more than enough time, but for me, I just want to make sure I don't want to take any chances. So I always tell everybody about three days for these, just so I have that drying time if they want frames. That's the end of the video. I appreciate everyone for subscribing. We are over 20,000 subscribers now. Um, I do have a vlog coming up here soon. Someone inspired me to do a vlog, so I'm going to go ahead and do my vlog. And I'm hoping to post it this Monday coming up. So that's the 13th of, what is this month? July. So yeah, so hopefully July 13th, I will be posting my first vlog. Um, but yeah, so as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have not already joined my crafting group, I will leave the link to that in the description below. And I hope to see you there. And until next time.